19 is taking a toll on local small businesses, as we all know. Some owners aren't sure whether to keep the doors open, while others have already been forced to close. Let's check in with uh, C 7 News' Christine Scarpelli. She is live in Greenville with advice on those hard decisions many are now being forced to make. Christine? They're doing it now for sure. Yeah, hey, listen, small businesses, employers and employees, listen up this morning. There are steps you need to take right now. You do not just have to shelter and, and be scared. If your business is shut down, maybe you've had to close because you're not essential. There are steps you can take. Don't take my word for it. John Tripoli here, Northwestern Mutual, downtown Greenville. We're talking first steps. Listen, if you are at a loss right now, what in the world do I do? I own a small business. Start where? First step is reach out to those financial professionals that are part of your small business life. Okay. And that might be your primary banking relationship, a financial advisor, mm -hmm. an accountant or CPA, and understand what's available through the CARES Act. And as a small business owner, one of the key elements of that is the payroll protection program. Okay. And this is a loan that can be forgivable. Um, and that we uh, opened up for application this Friday, April 3rd, and goes through June 30th. So you still have time, but does it help to do it early? Yes, Why? absolutely, because the CARES Act provides that it's first come, first serve based on the current dollar amount that's been allocated. So get in process, uh, get an application, and it's okay to apply with multiple institutions, huh. but start with your primary banking relationship. If you have questions, if you need help, you can ask those different advisors you may have, but hey, what if you get put on hold? What if you see a huge key and you it's say... It's okay. Yeah, be patient. Know that the, the volume is significant and get in queue, right? And that's why it's okay to apply to multiple institutions. The SBA website, Small Business Administration, great resource. Here it is. And if there was a step, Christine, mm -hmm. like how to's, understand your payroll costs. So mm -hmm. get with your financial advisor, get with your accountant, know what your average monthly payroll costs are. Uh, the loan provides a two and a half time multiple uh, loan provision that could be forgiven okay. based on your employees staying with you and staying employed. Very good employees. Go ahead. We'll, you, we'll have this clickable so you can go to our website WSPA.com. That's maybe something you need to propose to your employer. Say, hey, this is money mm -hmm. and it's forgivable. You don't even need to pay it back. We can get through yeah. this, right? There's a little motivation Absolutely. for you, Sabila. There you go. A lot of resources available. All right, Christine, thanks so much. Fred? 653 is the